Together, let us pray the ninth novena to Saint Padre Pio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Ninth Day The Guardian Angel From the Acts of the Apostles Then the High Priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. From the writings of Padre Pio May your good guardian angel always watch over you. Be your guide on the rugged path of life. Always keep you in the grace of Jesus and sustain you with his hands, so that you may not stumble on a stone. Protect you under his wings from all the snares of the world, the devil and the flesh. Always have him present to your mind's eye. Often remember the presence of this angel. Thank him Pray to Him, always keep Him good company. Turn to Him in times of supreme anxiety and you will experience His beneficial help. Prayer Loving Saint Pio, during your life you had a particular devotion to the angels and a very special devotion to your guardian angel. Help us to understand and appreciate this great gift that God in his excessive love wants to give everyone by entrusting each person to his particular guidance and protection. Novena to Saint Padre Pio O Saint Pio, I come to you today knowing that you are truly a miracle worker. As one who is close to Jesus, I ask that you would pray for these my intentions. Kindly state your intentions here. I pray with the words of Pope John Paul II as I beg for your prayers on my behalf. Glorious, humble and beloved Padre Pio, teachers we pray humility of heart so that we may be counted among the little ones of the Gospel to whom the Father promise to reveal the mysteries of his kingdom. Help us to pray without ceasing, certain that God knows what we need even before we ask him. Obtain for us the eyes of faith that will help us recognize in the poor and suffering the very face of Jesus. Sustain us in the hour of trouble and trial, and if we fall, let us experience the joy of the sacrament of forgiveness. Grant us your tender devotion to Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Accompany us 
on our earthly pilgrimage toward the blessed homeland where we too hope to arrive to contemplate forever the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Closing Prayer St. Pio, we pray the prayer you composed for confidence and trust in God's mercy. O Lord, we ask for a boundless confidence and trust in your divine mercy and the courage to accept the crosses and sufferings which bring immense goodness to our souls and that of your church. Help us to love you with a pure and contrite heart and to humble ourselves beneath your cross as we climb the mountain of holiness, carrying our cross that leads to heavenly glory. May we receive you with great faith and love in holy communion and allow you to act in us as you desire for your greater glory. O Jesus, most adorable heart and eternal fountain of divine love, may our prayer find favor before the divine majesty of your heavenly Father. Amen. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.